Hello everyone, welcome to Carnivorous Plants Hub. Today I'm really excited to bring you an update on a plant that I have not given you an update on in a long time. I think it's been three or four months, so really excited to bring an update on my Sethos Ping. I'm really, really loving this plant. It's been a little bit different than I thought it was going to be, but it has been absolutely beautiful. It's grown right along my Cephalotus on the windowsill. Uh, you can also check out my Cephalotus that I'm doing an update on here pretty quick, so link will be in the description. Make sure and check that out. Uh, as it's kind of my companion plant for these as they grow on the windowsill together. But uh, real quick, before I jump into this plant and show you a little bit more of it, I just wanted to thank you so much for being here. I really, really appreciate it. I'm trying so hard to get my carnivorous plant nursery going. It's my dream to get that set up one day. I'm also trying to get uh, my own substrate set up uh, so I can sell some carnivorous plant substrate to all you guys. Uh, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for supporting me, watching my videos. Uh, make sure to subscribe to my channel, like the video. All that stuff really, really helps me in my journey to one day open a carnivorous plant nursery. So thanks so much for being here. And let's go ahead and check out these set those pings that I have for you here. So you see one thing you're going to notice right away is these are quite a bit different in size. So let me bring this one over here first. So I'm going to tell you a little bit story about this one here, what happened and why this one's so much smaller. Uh, we actually had a fire, or not a fire, it was more of a, a, a cooking fire mess in our kitchen. The smoke alarms went off. We opened up the kitchen window where these sit and it was pushed right up against the window. So when we opened the window, this one actually spilled into the sink and everything fell out. We basically had to repot this guy. So you can tell based on the size difference that it had a little bit of a hiccup in its in its growth. So that's why this one is considerably smaller. It's still doing really well. It, it, there was a little period there where I was a little worried that it wasn't going to snap out of it, but it did. And now it's starting to, to produce, produce these new beautiful leaves. So it's doing really, really well now. It's just a little bit smaller and a little bit behind, but I guess that makes its brother here kind of more of the star of the show. So we'll bring this one over so you can take a look at it. So this one here is is really, really cool and it's almost outgrowing its pot here. So I think I'm gonna have to get it a bigger pot uh, when I repot this probably here uh, in January, February. Uh, but you can see it also just produced this really, really beautiful little pink flower. Let me check that out there. Uh, the flowers on this are so cool and I really like them because they're such a stark contrast to the, to the green that's produced with the plant. So I, I, I really like the flowers, they're really beautiful. They're so simple, it's just five petals, uh, it's, but it's just such a really beautiful little flower. And it, it, the, the contrast to these green plants is just really so cool. But I think these are about to go into their succulent stage. What happens is they don't go through a dormancy, but they do go through a period where the leaves start to get a little bit harder and turn into more of a succulent. It doesn't secrete as much of the fluid here to catch the bugs, but you can see if you look in here, you can see this one, they're kind of a darker green. And I think that's really kind of the changing of the weather right now. Those look completely different than it usually. Usually they actually look a lot like this one here. You see the leaves just look kind of like the same color. They don't look that different. They're just kind of lighter. But these ones are starting to turn kind of a darker green color. And I think that's it sort of hitting that succulent stage where these get a little bit harder. They don't catch as much bugs and they don't go into a dormancy. They're going to still continue to grow, but they just react a little bit different during the winter time. Uh, one of the things that I was expecting out of these that never happened is that they have not turned sort of the, the purplish pinkish color that I thought that they were going to. And I suspect that that could potentially be because I haven't given them as much light as maybe they would need for that color change to happen. Uh, these have been sitting in the windowsill and they've been growing really well. They, they've never suffered. They've never looked like they, they were sick or anything, but they just haven't taken that, that purple color that you expect these uh, setho pings. Uh, or Mexican butterworts to, to kind of turn. So that, that's the only thing that I was expecting and hoping for is for them to sort of turn into that, that beautiful pinkish purplish color. They haven't done that. They've stayed completely green, which is perfectly fine because as you can see, they're still really a beautiful plant and they've actually been doing a really good job at, at catching insects. Let me see if I can get in here a little closer so you can see all of the gnats and stuff that they've been catching in the windowsill, which is just kind of, it's almost like an added bonus with these plants. You know, you got a little bit of gnats flying around the kitchen these guys will usually kind of come in and clean it up. So uh, they're both doing a pretty good job of catching the gnats, but uh, yeah, 
Not too much to report with these ones other than they're just beautiful. They're doing really well. I think they're about to go into their succulent stage, which is sort of their form of dormancy. Um, but yeah, if you guys have any questions, make sure to sound off in the comments below. Let me know what you think. I appreciate you so much. Thanks so much for being here. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. Uh, like these videos. It helps me out more than you could ever possibly imagine. Thank you so much. And I am really excited to catch you in my next video. Bye.